welcome to Newx Bytes, part of a series of small videos to help you get the most out of Newx. My name is Carl Barron and I'm a Senior Solutions Consultant at Newx. This video will explain two different memory settings which are available within Newx. These are the application memory and the parallel processing worker memory. Let's start off with a quick explanation for both. Application memory is the memory which is used by the main UX application for displaying the UI and performing analysis techniques such as searching and filtering. The parallel processing memory is the amount of memory that each worker can use when processing data. UX is a scalable application which can be configured to suit the hardware which it is installed on. Therefore, we need to understand how to scale and configure the memory depending on the hardware. When processing data, you must start looking at the overall amount of memory available on that system. From that, we can then deduct memory to be used by the operating system and then use the remainder for the Newx application and the Newx parallel processing workers. As you can see on the screen, my Newx machine has 64 gigabyte of RAM. We would therefore do the following when processing data. Deduct memory for the operating system in this case, 4 GB. As we are processing the data, the actual Newx application is doing very little work. It is simply displaying the user interface for processing data and therefore doesn't require a large amount of memory. As I know we have enough memory to serve the workers, I will set this at 8 GB to be on the safe side. Finally, we now need to decide the amount of workers we are going to use. This is decided typically by the amount your license will allow and how many cores are available on your system. As this is a four core machine, I will use four workers. Therefore, my calculations at this stage would be to take the 64 gigabyte, deduct the four gigabyte for the operating system, the eight gigabyte for the Newx application. This would leave me with 52 gigabyte. We then need to divide that 52 gigabyte by four workers. This leaves us with 13 gigabyte per worker. The minimum amount of memory per worker can vary depending on the data which is being processed. Typically we recommend around 8 GB per worker on larger installs, over 64 GB of RAM overall, and 2 GB per worker on smaller installs, 8 GB or less of memory overall. When you have finished processing and start to analyse the data, you can then increase the application memory as the workers are now not being used. So let me show you how to set these memory settings. The first memory setting to show is the application memory. This can be set by going to the global options memory, selecting memory. From here you can enter the memory value. Something to note here is that the application must be restarted before this new memory setting takes effect. The parallel processing memory is set before you start processing. This memory setting can be found in the processor setting screens. You need to click on the parallel processing tab. From here you can select the amount of workers to use and the amount of memory per worker. Something to note, the memory settings within UX are memory caps rather than assigned memory. Therefore, the memory will only be used if Newx actually requires it. When you are processing data, it is important to keep an eye on the memory allocation. To do this, simply open up Task Manager. For each worker created, a Newx underscore worker.exe is created. In Task Manager, you will be able to see the amount of memory getting used by each worker. Thank you for watching and feel free to check out some of the other Newx Bytes videos on the Newx channel.